Okay, hello class. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to do homework three. I'm going to give you more support. If you have not looked at the less support version of this homework, please give it a try. Only if you are stuck, then maybe you want to watch this video. Don't always take the easiest way, okay? So uh, in class, I already explained to you what are the two question types, the uh, inference or message question. And the other one is a comparison question. I've taught you all how to use the black and white perspective how to use the, this inquiry question on this topic to go and guess the possible answers. We learn how to use the background information to find the black and the white, the two different perspectives. In this case, what the strength of the Swedish healthcare system and the weakness. Okay, this will help you to understand the sources. When you look at the source, you want to know what is the strength, what is the weakness. Is this saying strength? Is this saying weakness? What's the strength? What's the weakness? Same thing when you read source B, uh, when you do a comparison with source B and source C, you can look up very easily. Is it talking about strength? Is it talking about weakness? Same thing for source C. Is it about strength? Is it about weakness? If it's two strength, then they are similar. Or in this case, they agree with each other. If the two sources talk about different things, one is a strength, one is a weakness, then they will disagree over the effectiveness of the healthcare system or whether the Swedish healthcare system is strong. A week okay so that is the idea now i'm going to show you how to use the writing template if you are not so sure the first one the message question is quite straightforward okay it's a normal inference three part answer okay what is the message of the source uh, i explained in class you can guess usually using this one the topic sentence so the message could be either the swedish healthcare system is very strong because something or the Swedish healthcare system is very weak because what's the reason? Okay, so that is the phrasing. Okay, so is the Swedish healthcare system strong or weak? Why? Mentioned briefly. Give evidence, describe the cartoon. Okay, what do you see in the cartoon? Do you want to use any of the speech bubbles as evidence as well? Okay, sometimes for cartoon, the speech bubble alone is not enough. You need to describe what you see. So in this case, we have some Cemetery, we are who are they talking to? Maybe you want to mention. Okay. And then last but not least, explain how the cartoon shows that the Swedish healthcare system is very strong, has a lot of strengths, or the Swedish healthcare system has a lot of weakness. Okay. Explain what is the strength, what is the weakness? Why is it a strength? Why is it a weakness? So you need to explain to me also. Okay. So that is the question one, quite straightforward. Question two is a comparison question. Okay. Comparison question, you need to give two paragraphs. One paragraph is the difference, and one paragraph is the similarity. You can do either one first, okay? Which one do you do first? I mentioned in class, the first one is usually the easiest to find, okay? And it depends on how you use the black and white method. As I mentioned in class, the source will usually either talk about the strength or the weakness or black and white, depending on the whatever the topic is. Okay, two perspectives, usually they'll take one side. Okay, so do they agree? Do they both say that the Swedish healthcare system is strong? Do both sources say the Swedish healthcare system is weak? Or are they different over the effectiveness? One says strong, the other source say weaknesses. So which is it? Okay, so we mentioned in class already, right? We looked through a source. First thing, when you answer comparison question, very important, you must give the comparison criteria. So how will you phrase the comparison criteria? One source say it's a strength, one source say it's a weakness. So to phrase it, I can say something like, uh, both sources B and D is actually over whether the Swedish healthcare system is strong. Or you can say they disagree over the effectiveness of the Swedish healthcare system. So this comparison criteria, you are telling me what are you going to compare, okay? Then after that, then you include in source B. Is source B, is it, in source B, is it strong? Is it a strength or is it a weakness? Okay, and same thing in source C, is it a strength or is it a weakness? Then you mention it like this. A lot of times, sometimes you do comparison, you skip straight to this. I can infer from source B, 
The Swedish healthcare system is strong, while I infer from source C, Swedish healthcare system is weak. Or I can infer from source B, Swedish healthcare system is weak, while I infer from source C is strong. This is necessary, but you also got to state this very clearly. Um, that's how strict they usually my O level. Uh, so I just want to teach you all the right technique, okay? Uh, it's a bit rigid, but I hope you all can understand why I'm making you all do this. Huh? I don't do you all any harm by not teaching you all this, okay? And then evidence, same thing. It's a textual source this time, source B and source C. So please remember you need to add quotation marks to your code. For source C evidence, same thing. You must add quotation marks. Quote one or two sentences in full. Okay. Uh, don't just, your WSRB have a tendency to just write in your own words. Not a very good habit. Okay, because sometimes the teacher may not count it as your evidence because they think you're writing your own thing. So include your quotation only when you explain, then you tell me in your own. So in source B, explain source B why it is, why the healthcare system is so strong or weak. So what makes it strong or weak? How do you know it is strong or weak? So I give you a bit more guiding question. Use your own words. We mentioned in class, right? They are talking to dead people here, right? So why does what is so weak about the healthcare system? You must explain. Okay. So same thing, explain in saucy why the healthcare system is so strong or so weak. Okay, which one is the case? We discuss in class, I let you try. Okay, so this is the easier one using the black and white method. Okay, finding the difference. Okay, now the similarity, I didn't really go through this in class. It's usually the harder part. Although the source can be very different in terms of what one says strong, one says it's a weak healthcare system. But after that, the higher, the next part is try and see if they have anything similar. Okay, sometimes you find that the source, they agree with each other using the black and white method. They are similar. Okay, but even within the similar, you can sometimes find some small differences. So the next one is harder, but I want you to try because if it's a comparison question, right? Usually it's about six, seven marks, right? If you can do the first one well, okay? For six marks, I'll give maybe up to four marks. So it's like a B answer. If you want to get the max mark, you want to try and find the other side as well to get the last two marks, okay? So let's look at the source. I'll, give you, I'll help you a little bit. Okay, source B, we all know, okay, talks about the serial health system has some problems, okay? Okay, and source C tells serial health system actually is, uh, also has some problem. Okay, the serial health system calling uh, when children are dying unnecessarily. So actually got a problem. Uh. But here they are saying, ah, it's not a problem. Sorry, I say wrongly. Okay, because they have very high expectancy. So what is the similarity? Let's read the source a little bit more and try and see if you can find. So this one say healthcare system is good, healthcare system is bad for source C. So what is the similarity? Let me just reduce the gap, okay? Source B, healthcare system is used by modern in other countries. That means other countries like to follow the healthcare system because maybe it's very good. It has gone through many structural changes led by the health authorities. The country spent 9% of the funding which is almost half the US budget by achieve high expectancy and low infant mortality rates. And these people live for a very long, high life expectancy. Babies don't die easily, low infant mortality. Healthcare systems are available to all, including both citizens and experts. So, so far, a lot of good things, okay? Waiting time for pre-planned care, such as hip replacement surgery, cataract cannot exceed 90 days. So we're talking about waiting time here. If you are an expert or Swedish citizen, CSPG can confirm you require surgery, you'll receive proper treatment within 90 days. If the waiting period is likely to exceed the time limit, you can go elsewhere for treatment and the government will pay the bill. Okay, so we learn about something, government will pay the bills. We learn about there will be a good time. Okay, we also learn maybe at the first part, uh, ah, it has many uh, changes. So let's just highlight some of the key things. Lah. Proper treatment within 90 days, government funding will pay. We don't know whether which one we want to use as the similarity. So let's just highlight some of the, uh, the main points. Lah, okay. And we look at source C, 
not even children are spared. So when I look at the next source, I want to immediately start looking back and forth. Are there any similarity? Not even children are spared in this crisis. Did the first part talk about children? Uh, they talk about low infant mortality rate, but let's see if there's anything similar. At this hospital, Karolinska, a third of the beds are empty and one in 10 of the operation of children has been cancelled this year. This one sounds more like a difference because first one say, uh, you can always get the healthcare, but here say a lot of uh, things have been cancelled. Okay, so a bit of problem. So there's still a difference. The acute problem is the shortage of nurses. There's the first soft talk about shortage of manpower. Uh, not really, right? So not a similarity. It's forcing hospital to leave beds unused. There's the first soft talk about beds being unused. Never really mentioned, right? So it's not really used. A similarity. Over the years, the government have made reforms to the system. The government has made a lot of changes. Did the first soft talk about making changes? Actually, yes. Many, they make many structural changes. It's highlight in blue. Uh, sorry, highlight in blue. He also talked about many reforms. So actually, both sources agree that maybe the Swedish healthcare system has gone through many changes. All right, so we found our first fact. So you, I hope you get what I'm trying to do. When you want to read for the second one, you want to read like line by line and check back and forth. So yeah, but let's read further. Never before has so much money been allocated to the healthcare system. That means a lot of money has been spent to the healthcare system. Did the source talk about the healthcare system spending a lot of money? Maybe it's a difference, right? Because here they say that the Sweden spent half of the US budget. The country don't spend so much money. Okay? But here they say a lot of money has been spent. So actually, this is maybe a difference. So not a similarity we're looking for. So let's read on. The ruling government wants people to come out to the polyclinic for regular checks. Did they mention this? That they will ask them to go for regular checks? Not really, right? So let's read on. Completely healthy people use our resources that can barely cover the needs of the sick. Did anything mentioned like this in source B, whether healthy people waste the resources? Not really, right? They did say that you usually get waiting time where it's very short. So most likely, it's not really uh, wasting the resources, okay? Swedish can continue calling and children are dying unnecessarily. Here say children live very well. So actually, this is also different. So we are left with only one similarity, okay? He has gone through many structural changes. So these two blue things are the similarity. So the question is, how do you phrase it? If you look at paragraph 270, they both agree in what? So you can say they both agree that in the Swedish healthcare system, okay, uh, being modified by the government a lot. Okay, so we'll talk about how they're different. So then after you can tell me in source B, what does it say? In source C, what can you infer? Source B and C, right? If they are similar, right? Okay. Actually, you can even skip this step. Lah. Actually, I'll tell you, you can even skip this step. Usually similarity, right? Sometimes I won't even include this step because the inference is this. Lah. The Swedish healthcare system has been changed a lot by the government. So what you need to do now then is to quote your evidence. Lah. Which part of, sorry, lah. which part of source B shows you a lot of change has been made? Which part of source C shows you a lot of change has been made and explain how what has changed. Lah. Okay, explain a little bit what did they change to the healthcare system. This one a bit hard. Sometimes you might need to use your background knowledge. What did the Swedish healthcare system change? If we look at source B, we talk about how hey, the changes maybe could be the waiting time is cut short. They try to change this. Whereas this one, uh, what is the change here? Never has been so much money being allocated. The change here they are talking about is a lot of money has been spent by the government. So maybe last time they don't use to spend as much. Now they spend a lot. So that is the change. For us, the change here you can talk about is maybe the government will try to speed things up, uh, cut down the waiting time. Okay, so you explain. I give you the criteria. Both sources agree in that the healthcare system has been modified or changed a lot. Give your evidence from B. Explain what has changed. Give your evidence from C, explain what has changed. Okay?
So that's all. Uh, give it a try. You are still not so sure of Mark and give you more feedback. All right. Give it a try. I look forward to seeing your work. You all have done well for WA1 so far. All of you, I believe, have made some sort of improvement. So keep it up. And I see you next time.